An essential element of corporate governance, but only one of the elements of corporate governance, is to ensure that there is proper documentation which regulates the relationship between shareholders, the company, directors, and other stakeholders. Part of this process would be to ensure that there is proper agreements in place in order to regulate those relationships. Two of those agreements would be the Memorandum of Incorporation, or the MOI, which is a public statutory document, and a shareholders agreement, which regulates relationship between the shareholders. Properly constituted and drafted documents of this nature are absolutely vital to ensure the important running of the corporate governance elements of the company. Well, we often get consulted by clients on matters of shareholding. Uh, often the question is, I would like to exit as a shareholder, how do I go about it? Uh, alternatively, they may ask, you know, we need to uh, elect directors, how do we go about it? Or a matter has arisen and uh, should it be determined by shareholders or does it fall within the preserve of directors? Inevitably, I say to my clients, uh, before I can advise, won't you show me your shareholders agreement in MRI? And more often than not, they'll say, sorry, uh, we've done it on a handshake and we've decided to resolve the matters as we go along. Alternatively, they'll say to me, well, we purchased a stock standard shareholders agreement in MRI. And when you look at the provisions, it doesn't speak to their unique relationship. A shareholders agreement is a contract between uh, the shareholders of a company and in some circumstances it may include the company itself. The shareholders agreement generally regulates the relationship between the shareholders inter se or between them. Uh, the important part of a shareholders agreement is that it must be consistent with the provisions of the Companies Act and the MRI. To the extent that it isn't, it will be unenforceable to the extent of the inconsistency. The MRI replaces the uh, Memorandum and Articles of Association, uh, which we had under the previous Companies Act, and it combines it into one document. The MRI regulates uh, the relationship between shareholders and directors and, and deals with predominantly matters of governance. Again, the MRI needs to be consistent with the Companies Act. And to the extent that it is not consistent with the Companies Act, it will be unenforceable to the extent of that inconsistency. Often, the provisions of the shareholders agreement will be dictated to by the identity of the shareholders. For example, a shareholder may be a natural person, they could be a for-profit company, a not-for-profit company, or even a family structure which includes trusts and companies behind it, or any combination thereof. Certain provisions of the shareholders agreement will deal with rights of preemption over shares. So typically, if a shareholder is going to exit, the shareholders agreement will deal with the process of offer and acceptance of those shares, including the purchase price and the terms payable in respect thereof. Uh, a key aspect of the shareholders agreement is the value of the shares. This is often reflected in a formula in the shareholders agreement. Alternatively, a third party is called upon to express a view on valuation. As regards funding, it's a very important component. Uh, the funding of a company has to be agreed upfront between shareholders. Uh, the terms of that funding would need to, to be agreed, the terms of repayment, whether those loans would be interest-bearing, non-interest-bearing, or whether the company itself would look to third parties to obtain borrowings. Uh, there's certain other provisions in the shareholders agreement which uh, would be included, which would be unique to the parties concerned. For example, restraint of trade provisions, certain confidentiality provisions. Uh, it may also deal with uh, the rights and duties of each shareholder and what they need to bring to the table. The MRI generally deals with matters of governance. Uh, it deals with those matters which will take uh, precedence over the provisions of a shareholders agreement. The MRI itself will deal with the director's meetings, the quorum requirements around a director's meeting, as well as the voting rights 
to be exercised by each director at a meeting. It will also deal with the election of directors and whether any shareholder themselves has the right to appoint and remove a director. As regards shareholders meetings, again, the MRI will deal with the quorum requirements of shareholders meetings and the voting rights of the shareholders. The MRI will focus on the thresholds for a special resolution of shareholders and an ordinary resolution of shareholders, bearing in mind that there needs to be 10 points between each of those uh, thresholds. The MRI itself will deal with the classes of shares in the company as well as the rights attributable to each class of shares.